Hello and welcome back to the Snap Revised YouTube channel. I'm Amy and for this video I'm going to give a very brief tutorial on how to use Notion. Um, this is for those of you that have never used this program before, so keep watching for some ideas. It is a very, very helpful revision tool. If you haven't heard of Notion before, um, don't know what it is, it's basically like Google Docs um, or Microsoft Word, but it's much more pliable so you can tailor it to exactly what you want to contain with your revision notes. It's super user friendly, so intuitive, it is such a handy thing to be using. Um, if you find that your notes tend to be quite cluttered uh, and you don't know how to organise them, this is a really great way to get them in order. I'm making this video now because I think it will be especially useful during the exam season, so if you feel like everything feels out of control at the moment if you've got exam dates um, and revision plans all separate to each other then you can store them all in exactly the same place and use it as you go through your exams. Hopefully it helps you feel a lot more in control. So you can download Notion from your app store. It's free to use for individual use. Um, I don't think you can share documents between um, groups of people with the free version but it's fantastic for organising your own stuff. It is so intuitive, so you just need to download it, set up your account, and then you start with a completely blank canvas, or you can use one of their preset templates. I'm gonna go through um, the tutorial on my iPad, so you should be able to see the screen, um, what I'm doing as I'm doing it, so it kind of makes sense, you can work through with the video. Um, First thing I will say is that Notion is quite different from other note-taking tools that you're used to using. Um, it's got a kind of a different way of operating, but once you're tuned into that, it's super easy. So once you've set up your Notion account, you want to create a new workspace. You could create a different workspace for each subject or you could store all of your subjects within one. Um, the workspace is basically just like a folder. So once we go into the workspace, um, and you can name the workspace however you want, uh, you can set up pages. So each page can then have further pages within it. You can basically have pages within pages within pages, um, as many as you possibly need. Um, just as many as you want to organize your work. So the most important thing you need to know about Notion is the forward slash. Uh, this allows you to select which feature you can insert into your page. So if you type a forward slash, you'll see all of your options for different elements come up. You just select the element you want to insert um, and then it inserts it for you. If you want to set your Notion into dark mode, which I find is a lot more helpful for reading. I don't know, I find it easier to read um, white text on a dark background rather than dark text on a white background. Um, if you are on a Mac, that's just Command, Shift and L. And if you're on a PC, it's Control, Shift and L. And that just instantly changes the whole setup from light to dark mode. Pretty cool. So for each page, you can actually have a little icon next to the title of the page. I love this, I think it looks really cool. Um, it also helps make the document a lot more easier to navigate, so you can have a look through, and maybe you can indicate biology pages or biology elements with some sort of green emoji, um, and do the same for all of your other subjects, I don't know. It's up to you. You can also embed videos within your Notion documents. So this is really handy if you found a video about a certain topic that you find really helpful, or if there's a video that you want to save for later in your revision. Just paste the URL into your page and then it will come up with options. Select the embed option and then your video is just there and you can just click play. As long as you have an internet connection, it will play that video within the document without taking you out into YouTube. The same thing can be done for documents. So any PDFs that you want to insert, you can do that, um, that's really helpful if you don't want to type out all of the info from a PDF into your own notes, you can just pop the PDF in. If you anticipate that your Notion document is going to get quite large with loads of pages within pages, you might want to make a table of contents um, or a homepage to make navigating the whole document a lot easier. This way you're then gonna be navigating your revision notes like a website rather than just flicking through folders within your computer um, or within pages in a physical folder. Um, it might make it a lot easier for you and quicker, same time looking for all of your notes. So another handy feature that I love about Notion is that you can actually set reminders on it. Um, this is really helpful if you are wanting to stick to a certain revision plan. You can set yourself a reminder within Notion. All you have to do is do an at and type reminder um, and that comes up as an element and you can select the date and time of that reminder. Um, I'm not sure if there's actually an alarm that goes off. I set one yesterday to see what would happen today and it kind of changes the text from blue to red which I guess draws your attention to it when you log into your Notion page. Um, but that's another handy tool. Also to-do lists, um, easy, there's a tick box feature. If you're like me, you enjoy ticking things off as you're working through them. Um, so that to-do list is really great. 
Now, if you aren't exactly sure how you want to structure your revision, if you aren't very artistically minded and just want to get on with the work, then there are templates available for you to use. So once you set up your document, um, there will be a templated version that you can flick through, have a look at all the different templates available um, and select the one that has the elements within it that you need for your revision. Remember that you can always add things into existing templates. So it really is really customizable. Choose whatever works for you. It really is so intuitive and so helpful. And the fact that it's free as well is just such a bonus. So if you aren't already using Notion, you need to get onto that. It comes as an app, like I said, but it also comes as a desktop version. So once you've set up your account, if you don't want to take your valuable devices into school, if you want to leave your iPad or your laptop at home, um, you can just log into it on the desktop. So that's really great for making sure that you can still add to it while you're at school um, and then access the notes you made at school at home. So to close out the video, I'm just gonna show you um, a quick template that I threw together for biology. This took me barely any time. And basically what I've put in here is um, different elements that I think would be handy for biology. Um, at the top, we've got a to-do list for that subject so that you can work through that. You might want to do that on a weekly basis. So at the start of the week, um, write out your to-do tasks and then cross them off as you go through. Under the to-do list, I have toggled each of the individual topics within the spec. So a toggle allows you to click on it and it opens up a drop down. Um, I thought this would be handy for your topic notes because basically you can store your notes um, within those toggles, but then hide them away again if you want to just have a look at your biology um, revision template. Inside these toggles are where you can embed videos or documents um, and just store all of the information about each of those topics, maybe even exam questions, just everything that relates to that topic can be stored within that toggle and then stowed away. Underneath the toggles, I've put in a calendar so you can insert a calendar and on each day you can pop in what you want to do on that day. So you can plan in revision, put in important dates like exam dates or assessment dates. Um, and that's really easy to see within the document. And then at the bottom, um, I've talked about this in previous videos but recording the results of each topic test or past paper you do to try and track your progress as you work through revision, which is especially important in this final run up towards exams. So you can put in which paper you did to keep a record of all the papers you've done and what your result was and then also the topics that you need to improve on. This is fantastic for informing future revision sessions and any notes that you need to make on certain topics can be put into the topic toggle as well. So like I said, this is just a very basic template idea that you can use. All of these elements are put in with that forward slash and then you type in the element that you want. So the calendar, you just forward slash type in calendar. Um, the table at the bottom is forward slash table so easy um, hopefully this is helpful but don't worry if not you can just set it up however you would like to so there you go that is notion let us know what you think in the comments and for further help on your a-level revision you might want to check out this playlist just here and don't forget if you haven't subscribed already check out our channel we have tons of content to help you as exams get closer you can subscribe just here